Welcome back to What Arty Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the Sexton 1. It's the Tier 3 British Premium SPG. One of only two premium SPGs in the game. Uh, but you can't get hold of them at the moment. It's very difficult to get hold of them. But this one is on the Westbourne of Manaheim Line or Arctic Region. And it's under the command of Talon 1958. And into battle he goes. Well, I think you can see that the uh, Sexton 1 is actually built on the chassis of an M3, M3 Lee. They were actually built in Montreal, uh, in Canada. And this one's got a Union flag on the side. And you can see it hasn't got the ammo boxes on the back. That's what distinguishes it from the Sexton 1, uh, Sexton 2 rather, which is also a Tier 3 British SPG. Now, Talon's taking it down to the south side of the map. And there's a little dip here, right here. And he's hidden from view here. So the enemy can't see him. But he can certainly see the enemy if his teammates can. And so from this firing position, he's quite safe to keep firing at the enemy. So long as they fire, they come forward. And that Kiho just taken out by his teammates by a cruiser too, with the derp gun. And he fires around in that Largo, gets 109 hit points on that Swedish tier 4 medium tank. He's dialing in for another round and round out straight away. Note the Largo's not there. Oh, he is there! So that shell must have done some damage. Yes, because it uh, he got some track damage assistance off the, uh, off the tracking. Fires around in the Valentine, wasn't fully dialed in, so the round didn't land on him. But he's dialing in, he's going to get another shot. Now, that Locust went unsighted. So he's going to hit the Valentine 2 again, if he can. Round out. Lands just in front of the Valentine 2. And he's adjusting his position just a little. There's the Locust. There's an M2 medium there as well. He's dialing in on the Locust. And the Locust has been killed. Go for the M2 medium. Gets a big hit. 132 hit points right into his front. And the medium 2 is taken down. Going after the Valentine 2 next. Loaded. Round out. Direct hit to the side. 58 hit points. He's not angled well, that Valentine 2. He's going to take a lot of damage. Yeah, he just took a dirt round from the uh, Cruiser 2. And Talon just finished him off for his first kill of the game with 33 hit points. So he's on the scoreboard. Now they've got 7 kills to th 6 of the enemy. And there's a light Viz 38 there. That's the uh, original tank for the chassis of the Gorilla. And he's just taken him out with one shot. Picked up the full 220 hit points with that one. It's a very lightly armoured light tank. But it is the chassis that was so successful. That was mounted uh, or used by uh, so many different uh, German vehicles. It was used for the Gorilla. It was used for the Marder. For the Hetzer. Uh, well, just about... Well, many of the uh, the German vehicles use that chassis. Now, he's got a looks there. Round out. Nope. Landed just behind. There's a Panzer 38T. That also uses the same chassis from the Light Viz 38. Okay, so he's working out where it's going to be. Puts a round in. And, oh, kill shot. 64 hit points. Beautiful shot there. Okay, the enemy Sexton 2 has been sighted. He's dialing in. He's loaded. He'll need that dial in to be absolutely tight before he shoots to get accuracy. Ready, round out. Long flight. And he hits him. And he killed him. Wow, what a shot that was. That's his fourth kill of the game. Okay, another enemy's been sighted close. And that's a Panzer T-15. He's moving quickly. Unfortunately, these ones are really difficult to hit, these tanks. Dialing in. Oh, he stopped. Round out. Oh, lands in front of him. But he is going to reload fairly quickly. So he will get another chance. He stopped again. This guy must be mad. Round out. Oh, went right over the top of him. Landed behind. There he is. Okay, almost loaded. He's sitting on that corner. He's obviously trying to take aim at somebody. And he's got very low hit points, that Panzer T-15. He'll get a one shot for somebody. Loaded. Round out. Oh, he's killed before our shell lands. I'm sure that would have killed him. The P2640 got him. And that round appears to have hit somebody. 
I think there was an enemy tank up that direction, a T-127. I think he was hiding behind those bushes, and he took the round. Right, an M-1542 has been seen up on the heights. That's a Tier 3 Italian medium. We're dialing in the aim because we need to get it accurate. Unfortunately, he's killed. We're going back to that T-127. There's only one tank left, that T-127. But I don't think he'll be there for very long because he'll realise that there are uh, a load of tanks near his cap area. If he stays where he is, he's going to get hit by RT. So he'll probably return to his own cap. Another round goes in. No, it just hits the bushes. We've still got plenty of ammo. That's the great thing about the Sexton. You can keep pumping shells out. It's a 25-pounder gun. The standard gun that was used field artillery by the British Army during the Second World War. Slightly different calibre to the uh, 105mm. But it was a pretty good uh, gun all the same. Now it's the same gun that's actually fitted to the Sexton 2 as well. Oh, it hits the rock face there. So that's the good thing. You see, uh, Talon can keep firing these rounds in on speculative shots because he's got loads of ammo to play with. He's got 29 rounds of HE. There's the 127. He's hidden behind there. And we've capped out already. And the 127 is taken down at the last second. Killed by the looks. Uh, who must have the .5 calibre gun because I didn't hear any uh, rat attack from the cannon. Uh, so I think that must have been the 5 centimetre gun, not the half calibre, uh, the 5 centimetre gun. So, end of battle stats. Let's have a look and see how we did. Well, it was the second class tanker for Talon 1958 in the Sexton 1. He also picked up a fighter badge for getting at least four kills and he did get four exactly. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, team score. Okay, he came, he got the highest damage on his team, 806 hit points of damage. Unfortunately, the looks on the enemy team, he managed to get uh, 1,002 hit points and he qualified for the high caliber. Um, he managed to get four kills on uh, his own team, high score there. Uh, the looks on the enemy team only managed to get three. And when it came to base XP, he was third on the table. The Cruiser 2 managed 808 and he did to do some pretty effective uh, shots at the enemy using his derp gun um, he got some nice hits there in actual fact he hit some of the tanks that uh, um, that uh, Talon had actually disabled so uh, very useful play by him and that's why he picked up uh, such a high XP because uh, the Cruiser 2 is at tier 3 and I think he was hitting tier 4 opponents so let's have a look at detail report see where we come on that 22 rounds fired seven direct hits seven penetration four splash damage of 806 hit points of which 495 were at more than 300 meters he did hit some of the enemy at fairly close range you see um he fired and hit six of the enemy but he only killed four of them and did damage assistance of 171 hit points that was when he actually tracked that vehicle and it was subsequently taken out by other teammates uh, on a premium account, he earned 29,327 credits. And after ammunition resupply, and the ammunition is incredibly cheap, these shells, uh, he actually was left with 27,501 credits. Very good score for this uh, tier 3 RT. He received 834 XP, got an extra 500 XP because this is a premium vehicle, and that meant he took away 1,334 experience points altogether. So uh, a very good round and you can see why he loves this spot on Man Alive. He actually titled this, They Drive Right Into My Shells. It's a perfect shot for a very low, um, uh, a very low arty, a low uh, profile arty. You can hide down in that little dip and from that position you can hit any oncoming tanks. Obviously it does help if you've got some support there because if you don't have the support and the support fades away, the enemy are going to find you fairly quickly and probably kill you. But uh, from that position, if he's got support, Talon can really put up some damage on the enemy. And because it's a tier 3 RT, obviously he's only going to be facing tier 3 or tier 4 opponents, which means obviously he's more than likely going to be able to stop them and help his team to then win. So, really good round there. A win 8 of 5418 on that battle. If you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it will be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.